So today I want to talk about one very small silver lining that many hikers, trekkers and mountaineers can find in these very uncertain times. Now with all the craziness and uncertainty in the world right now, there is one absolute perfect opportunity out there for hikers which you can take advantage of. Now, as I often talk about on this podcast, overuse injuries are an absolute plague in the hiking world. Whether it's foot pain like plantar fasciitis, whether it's shin pain, hiker's knee, hip pain or lower back pain, overuse injuries are an absolute nightmare for so many hikers out there. And on this podcast, I'm often talking about particular strategies or exercises or things you can do to help prevent this pain and help manage this pain. But when it comes to any type of overuse injury, one of the single most important things you can do to help manage that pain and help prevent it is rest. And more often than not, rest is really, really hard to find in our everyday life. You know, we're always up and about. We're going from home to work, we're going to the shops, we're going to the gym, we're going out hiking. We have a million and one things we end up doing in our everyday life. And more often than not, we just can't get adequate rest that we need. Now, for things like hip pain and knee pain and shin pain, if you are careful and you do manage your training loads and your hiking loads well enough, you can get often get close enough to the rest time and the rest that you need and often you know, manage to deal with things well enough to get that recovery going. But when it comes to foot pain and plantar pain and things like plantar fasciitis, this is incredibly, incredibly difficult to do because we're always on our feet. Even if we are resting, we're always walking around home. We're always doing X, Y, and Z. We're always putting pressure through the feet. And depending on the severity of your particular pain, this may be getting in the way of your proper recovery. So, If you think about it, this is potentially a a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for hikers out there who are dealing with foot pain and dealing with overuse injuries in general to get proper rest that they need. Not just half-hearted rest, but proper rest. We're stuck at home. We're not going to the gym. We're not going hiking. All of these things we're restricted from, but we are not restricted from rest. And this could be a very, very small thing, but it could be an incredibly positive thing to hold on to and to work towards during this particular time. Now, depending on the severity of your foot pain and depending on how long you've had it, it really, really depends on how much rest you need. For some people, you might just get away with a few days rest. For some people, a week or two. For some people who've had really, really bad foot pain for a long time, you know, it might need months and months at a time. And all more often, well, that's never going to happen in everyday life, but it is going to happen now. So if you're dealing with foot pain or any other overuse injury in general, now is the time to get on top of it. Now is the time to be getting the rest you need, but also supporting the recovery um, and supporting everything you can do to prevent this pain. Now, when I say that, supporting it, there's things like always you should be doing some type of strengthening exercises to strengthen up the supporting muscles. You should always be doing some type of strengthening exercise, um, stretching exercises, I should say, around the surrounding muscles to make sure everything's moving free and easy. And there's always dozens and dozens of other little bits and pieces which you can apply to help the recovery process. Now, in this podcast over the long term, we've talked about a lot of these things. And more than likely, if you're dealing with an overuse injury, you've probably seen a physio, a podiatrist, a chiropractor, or some other health professional at some stage. And you've probably been given particular exercises or particular strategies which you have been recommended to do. So now is the time to be doing it. Now's the time to be doing those calf raises your um, podiatrist always told you to do. Now's the time to be doing those stretches you've been recommended to do three or four times a day. Now is the time to do the icing or the rolling or the wearing compression garments or whatever you've been recommended. Now is the time. The world is terrible right now, but you can pull out this positive, um, positive thing from this very, very bleak situation. So I really want you to have a think about it today. If you're dealing with this type of thing, maybe now is the time to step it up and get on top of it once and for all. So not only can you get on top of that pain, but when we actually get through this and we get back out on the trails and everything's opened up, you can not only hike pain free, but you can just jump back on the trail without skipping a beat. I bet there's going to be hundreds of hikers out there who don't do any type of training in this time. They get back on the trail and all of a sudden they're in huge amount of pain because their body's just not used to it. So for you, this is such an opportunity to 
get your body in order and not only that but get yourself in a really good position to be ready for the trail when they open up again now saying all of this if you are seeing the opportunity here and you're like you know what i want to get serious about this if you are dealing with plantar pain i've got something i want to offer you basically because this opportunity has popped up i fast tracked a brand new program and which I've been putting together for a while to start on Monday the 6th of April. Now this program is specifically for hikers who want to significantly reduce their plantar pain over the next 90 days. It's an entirely online program so you can join anywhere from the world and it can be done from your home. So you don't have to go to the gym, you don't have to go outdoors if you don't want, you don't have to have any equipment, you can literally do it from home. Now Seeing this program has been fast-tracked, what I'm looking for right now is five hikers out there to test it out at a huge discount. Now the intention here is to help me work out the kinks of this fast-track program and get um, some amazing results which I can use as a case study further down the line to help promote this to other hikers. Now this is going to be fully released in a couple of months and the price is going to go way up. So this is a once only opportunity to get this at this hugely discounted rate if you are interested in this and learn a little bit more about it simply send me an email or send me a message with the words tell me more and i'll talk you through all the details of this planter pain program if you need to find my email it's rowan at summitstrength.com.au that's r-o-w-a-n or you can find my contact details on my website at summitstrength.com.au but if you've been struggling with plantar pain for a while and you want to be, do something productive over these next 90 days and really, really take advantage of this opportunity, that is going to be an amazing option for you. And otherwise, if you are struggling with types of pain, now is the time to put your head down and get on top of it so you can get back on the trail when this is all done and fully enjoy your adventures once again so i hope you've enjoyed this short episode today guys hope you got a bit of food for thought there and hope you can hopefully a few of you can see a little glimmer of hope into what you can be productive and positive about this time if you're interested in that program swing me an email if not have a lovely day and we'll be back with another full and uh, fully charged episode on monday of the training for trekking podcast so thanks for listening and we'll talk to you soon bye